up YouTube? Welcome back to Jordan's Guitar Channel. I am your host, Jordan. Let's talk about a myth that needs to be stopped being perpetuated. Import guitars are not the norm, bro. Okay? Now, I know times are tough, things are expensive, but, 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 import guitars are, they're decent guitars, okay? They play well, they record pretty well. They're, they're okay guitars, okay? And yes, you're going to see a lot of bands playing some of these import guitars, and that's fine. But something that you'll never see talked about and not brought up is the fact that all of these bands are sponsored or endorsed. They have excellent guitar techs. Uh, more than likely, the guitars they're sent out to tour with are personally inspected by the father company. Uh, so like if, like an LTD is probably sent to ESP for a amazing setup so they play super well. Now, if you watch my channel over the last couple of months, I've had a few import guitars come in because I wanted to see for myself, do the import guitars hold up? And the answer is, sort of. They sort of do, okay? Um, two guitars, you guys know I had to send back. Uh, they were both LTDs. And among several issues, the biggest issue was stainless steel frets. Okay? And everybody is like, well, you have to have stainless steel frets now. You have to. Do you really, though? So, no, you don't. Okay. So the reason I brought out this ESP Standard Series Eclipse, this is one of the last ones they made before they went to the E2. Um, you can see, there's little fingerprints where I rest my fingers. There is where my arm has been, the back of the neck. Everything, it's turning yellow, bro, um, because I play the hell out of this guitar. And I have for at least a decade or more. It's always had really heavy strings on it. And... Uh, you know, take a look at these frets, dude. Take a look at that. Let's see if I can get that on camera there. There is no buzz. The action is... Super smooth. Smooth as a baby's butt. Um, all the things stainless steel frets are supposed to do, right? So... These are nickel frets, and something I don't see talked about a whole lot is most higher-end brands, they're not just putting plain old nickel frets on their guitars. The frets are treated in some way, so they resist wear, rust, etc., etc. And as you can see, you know, watch any of my videos, dude. I really play the hell out of guitars. I use a big, thick pick, heavy strings, and I'm really digging in and getting, you know, getting after it. So, I got the solar guitar a couple months ago, and the stainless steel frets were okay, but they needed work to them. So I called a couple of luthiers here in Texas, and I was shocked, very shocked. Um, I said, how much would it be to do a crown dressing and level on frets and polish? And I got price quotes between two to three hundred dollars to do that. And every single luthier I spoke to, they don't like stainless steel frets because they are harder to work on. And I personally experienced it because I wasn't about to spend an extra two to three hundred dollars on a guitar I spent four hundred bucks on. So I did the fret dressing myself. And it took a very long time. It was a very tedious process, even just polishing stainless steel frets is much more time consuming than polishing nickel frets which you know which is a positive um because it means the frets are tough and they're going to take a lot but most beginners right are going to go after you know the sub brand the epiphone the ltd the indonesian made ibanez's schecter's i mean you get the picture right and they get a guitar where you know see where my hand rests on a guitar like most people's right here if the frets aren't crowned and ball ended or 
rolled off nice and smooth, this is going to be a very uncomfortable playing experience for you. Um, and let's face it, most guys who are doing professional stuff, even, you know, I'm, I'm just a simple YouTube guy, and I'm not rich. I'm far from it. I want a guitar that's going to stay in tune, even for a 10-minute long video. Uh, and there are some pretty major differences between this ESP and an LTD EC1000. And uh, you may look at it and go, well, it looks more plain. It doesn't have all the features. Well, they try to sell you on that. You know, you get the Tone Pros Locking Bridge, and you get LTD Locking Tuners, and you get stainless steel frets, and you get this and that and the other. None of that stuff matters, dude, and you really don't need it. Now, I'm not saying don't buy LTD, so don't be putting words in my mouth, because there's nothing wrong with LTD. Um, what I am saying, though, is if you look at the prices of stuff, where beginners are at, and knowing how to work on the guitars, um, it's not worth the money, in my in my opinion. Um, so if if you really if you really look at it, you're looking at like thirteen hundred bucks for a brand new. We'll just say LTD. I'm not picking on LTD. It's just a brand that I, I chose because I've had experience with them. So you spend that, and then you get a guitar. Once you set it up, you've got fret buzz, you've got sharp fret ends, and all this other stuff. So to get that guitar really playing super nicely, you're gonna have to spend an extra two to three hundred bucks on the guitar. So now you're looking at sixteen hundred plus tax, plus shipping, plus you know whatever. And by that time, you know, save up an extra four hundred to whatever, and get yourself something like this. Get an E2, get a Japanese-made Ibanez, get a Japanese-made Jackson, uh, a Gibson, whatever, whatever your flavor is. Uh, because it's going to play better and it's going to be a, a better playing experience. Now, am I saying it's going to make you play better? No, but it's going to help you because you're going to want to pick up that guitar more often because the build quality is immaculate. Most guitar players don't know that if these bridges aren't set right, if the tuners aren't a good quality, if the nut isn't cut correctly, you know, all this stuff works in tandem with each other to make a phenomenal playing instrument. And so a lot of guys, you know, like me, I do home recording and stuff. I make these YouTube videos. So if you pick up a guitar and every time you pick it up, man, you really have to tune it and you get through a song and you got to tune it again. You're not going to play the guitar, bro. You just it'll just sit in your stand and collect dust until you sell it in a reverb. So that's kind of the point of this video. If you're looking at doing some any serious music, um, and you don't have a great guitar tech as a friend who will do stuff for free for you, which is very difficult to find, save up the money and get a, a nicer instrument. You'll thank me for it later. You may be cussing me out in the video. If you really hate what I had to say in this video, please leave it down below. Uh, I'll comment back to you, man. We'll, we'll talk about it, dude. Uh, I made this channel to be raw and real and give you guys the complete, honest truth about guitars and tone and everything else. And uh, I'm trying my best, guys. I'm working with no money here. And sometimes my opinions aren't very popular, and that's just the way it is in the guitar community and really anywhere in the world today. But uh, if you like the video, subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down below. Help me grow this little baby YouTube channel into a full-grown size adult YouTube channel that makes money and pays its bills. Until next time, guys, much metal, much love, and much peace, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.